Hi there and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers Photoshop tutorial. Today you can see me drifting away in a bottle. Um, it's a message in a bottle and it's a really exciting Photoshop tutorial to do. Um, to do this you need a photograph of a bottle, you'll need a photograph of somebody inside the bottle and you'll need a landscape to put it in or in this case a seascape. Okay I'll talk you through how to do it step by step and um, show you how to make it all work. So the first thing you need to do is obviously have a bot photograph of a bottle. You'll need to remove all the background, which I'll show you in a minute. You will also need a person to, to put inside the bottle, and you will also need a background photograph. Once you've got all these, you can go File, Place, Embedded, and add them all to one Photoshop file. We will look at doing the person first, and what you need to do is cut out all the person from the photograph. And the easiest way to do that is to go Select, Select subject, wait for the Photoshop AI to work out what is the subject and what isn't. Once it has, simply add a layer mask like so, and then you can see there's the person. You will then need to do the same thing to the bottom. So you go select subject, and once it has worked out the edges, you will need to go to the layer mask. And there you will see you have the bottle and you have the person. Now, we need to make the person fit inside the bottle. So at the moment, the person is way too big. So we click on the layer here, we right click over here, and we rasterize the layer so we can edit it. We click on the move tool, make sure we've got the show transform controls option open, and we can rescale and move the person. Meanwhile, we'll get the bottle, and we will work out where to place the person inside the bottle, make it fit like so and at the moment you can't see the person because the bottle is still solid so you can't see through it so if we click on the layer with the bottle and we go over to here and we go on to soft light or hard light in this case you can see that the person looks like they are now inside the bottle by changing the layer mode we might want to rescale and position the person more accurately so that it's exactly where we want it to go. Okay, you can also see when we're on this layer that we've got a little bit of edge that we don't really want. So we're going to go to our layer mask and our paintbrush, and we are going to just erase out this bit of edge here. Like so. And this is all going to be part of the background, so we can make sure if we've gone too far and we're not happy with it, we can just put some of it back like so. So we've got a really nice edge to work with. So there is the C, there is the background. So once we have got these two layers with the person inside the bottle, we need to start adding it to the background. If we click on the top layer, press shift and click on the bottom layer, we can move them both together. So we'll move that around and we want it to have a bit of sky behind it. We'll have it up here near where the waves are, like so. Now to make it really fit with the background, if we take away this part of the bottle and just have the waves showing through, it will make it look like it's part of that ocean picture. So we go back to our black down here and our paintbrush up here, make it a little bit bigger. We just sort of mask out some of this that looks like it's behind that wave that's breaking. Now that is the really easy quick bit, but to make it look a little bit more professional, a little bit more slick, you'll notice on this version I've added some of the green to the sea so it looks like it's like reflecting in the sea and I've also cropped the image. So to do that we will take this layer here with the bottle on it, we will duplicate the layer like so, click OK, and then we'll have two versions of it. We will go edit, transform, and we will flip it vertically so that it's now upside down. And we will then move it and position it so that it will become our reflection on the water. Once we've done this, we will change its layer mode to Possibly overlay or soft light. I think soft light will look better in this case. 
and we'll scale it so it looks like it is an exact part of the image and turn it around a little bit more so it looks like it is now floating in there we'll also mask out a bit more of it so we'll use our paintbrush and we'll just mask out some of it around here so that we've not got too much going on and we will then just blend out that little bit here because it looks a little bit too busy so we'll go on to the spot healing brush tool and just spot healing brush out that little bit there make sure we're on the layer so that we blend that in a bit and then it's a little bit less fuzzy the same way along this little edge here and there you can see us in the sea. One last thing we need to do is, at the moment, there's not a lot of shadow going on here. So we can add an extra bit of shadow in here. We'll add a new layer behind that layer. And we will get some black paint. And just add in a bit of a shadow around here. Like so. And once we've got it how we like it, we'll just take the opacity down on it so it looks more shadowy. So it looks like we've got a shadow inside the bottle, like so. One last thing to do is then to crop the image using the crop tool. You'll notice though that the landscape isn't quite straight. So before I crop it, what I'm going to do is actually straighten the horizon up. So if we go onto the layer with this and we just tilt it ever so slightly, before we crop it so we've got a nice straight horizon then when we go to the crop tool we can crop it down and in we'll use our image to about there let me drag it over slightly this way up a bit trying to use that rule of thirds idea with our placement. We might also want to go back to the bottle and just play around with the adjustments to it, our brights and contrasts, for example. Maybe slightly more contrast. Maybe make it slightly darker or lighter. So we get it exactly how we want the image to look. And once we have done that, we'll click OK. And there you can see that's our message in the bottle. It's me floating off into the distance in a in a what in a glass bottle okay i hope you've enjoyed this fun tutorial obviously it's very surreal it's similar to some of the other surreal artists i've shown you in the past if you're interested pop along to the channel have a look at the different stuff on the playlists and be sure to give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it leave a comment if you've got any ideas of tutorials you want me to do in the future and last thing hit that subscribe button okay thanks very much for watching and have a really lovely weekend okay bye